Hello everybody, welcome back. It is day four of the five day lead magnet challenge and um, tonight, yeah, I say tonight because it is uh, gone 7pm, I should be at home with my family, um, but I've just been overwhelmed by the amount of work today. It's been, uh, I've got so much done, but it's a lot of stuff. Anyway, so day four, uh, how to create your lead magnet. So we've gone through the processes of planning a lead magnet, what sort of lead magnet you're gonna be doing, uh, and those sorts of things, how to structure your lead magnet. So tonight, it's all about how you're going to build your lead magnet out. So I haven't talked about how to create content yet. This is the one where we start creating content. Um, lead magnets, in my opinion, absolute pain in the ass in order to put them together. So um, this is just a little hack in order to um, get good at producing lots of content. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but I write books, I do videos, I do blogs, I do posts in all of my groups and stuff like that. I've gone to town on my content, but it's because I've managed to hack my way to being able to produce lots of content. So. Here we go. So basically this is it. There is a PDF download, so make sure you grab hold of the PDF download, the links um, in this video too. Um, but this is my video content ecosystem, which some of you may well have seen before. Um, but this is a great way to produce content. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Facebook Live. It can be any sort of video, basically. So the last one I did was my seven marketing secrets, which was a talk which I gave at StroudNet. It was about 40 minutes long. One of the cool, thing is, cool things is that we talk faster than we can type. We, t we talk at about twice the speed that we can type, which means that, and also our brains are tuned into thinking at the same speed that we talk, not the same speed that we type. So typing can be really frustrating, really slow, easy to get distracted and procrastinate and things like that. So it's much better if you can find a way of like talking out your content. And one of the easiest ways is if you're out there already like doing presentations, slide decks, um, speaking gigs and all that sort of stuff, uh, podcast interviews even, basically just get hold of the recording, the audio and all the video, and then you can do some wonderful things with it. So for every thousand, sorry, for every 10 minutes worth of recorded audio, it's worth about a thousand words, okay? And typically on a page of A4, so if you think about doing a PDF download or a book or something like that, you're looking at between 200 and 250 words of content per A4 sheet of paper, uh, and that's at one and a half, one and a half line spacing and like 11, 12 point aerial. So about 200 to 250 words, okay? So you can get a flavor now for how long your lead magnet is actually going to be, all right? So if you wanted to do a 50 page guide, for example, or a 40 page, you know, a 40 page um, uh, like PDF lead magnet um, is going to be approximately 8,000 words. Uh, so therefore you need to, so you can start to just break down the maths basically. Um, I can't remember, I'm about to typeset the seven marketing secrets, that's going to be one of my next projects, but um, uh, but yeah, so the the um, sheet which I put together, the PDF download, kind of helps you do the, the rough kind of calculations, but like if you want to do a, a 40 or 50 page guide, it's got to be like 8,000 odd words or so. But the thing is, once you've got that audio transcription, you can send it across to either rev.com or another website, so that's rev.com, or another website, temi, T-E-M-I.com. They're both the same company, but one is, so temi.com is a, um, what we call a, um, uh, machine transcription service. So it's done, it's run completely by computer software. It's accurate to a point, I'd say it's probably 60-70% accurate, but then it does come up with some absolute blinders in terms of like its transcriptions, so they might not make sense. Rev.com on the other hand is a, what we call a human transcription service. Um, so it's, it's actually transcribed by real human beings, and so I found that it's pretty much like 98-99% accurate. Um, there's the odd word which um, just language barriers or whatever that, that don't come across um, as you would have anticipated. So the different, the main difference though is the price. Like temi.com is 10 cents per minute of audio, whereas rev.com is a dollar per minute of audio. Now if you think about it, if you're doing like a 40 or 50 page guide, you know, uh, you've got a 40 minutes worth of like, uh, like I did with my marketing secrets, 40 minutes worth of audio, you know, it's gonna cost you 40 bucks on rev.com, that's not a lot. Now I know that that lead magnet has already got me clients. 
And like one one client on my forty seven pound a month fearless program is you know it's already covered the cost of Rev dot com. So I'd suggest like unless you're absolutely ca like bootstrapped, like do go for Rev dot com. It's much more accurate. You've got to do less work to it. The next thing then is when you get back the txt file, text file from rev.com, uh, open it up in Word, and then there's a great app called Grammarly. So it's just a great way to check um, uh, typo, spelling, grammar, all of that sort of thing. So the text file will just come back with a big block of, big chunk of text. And so you've got to break it down into nice um, like sentences and paragraphs to start off with. And then you can go about the, the what I call the post-editing um, process. And the beauty of this is, like, um, so you can, you've, you've now got, imagine you use a video, so the video can go up onto YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, wherever you want to put it. Now you've got the text transcription to go with it, which is edited into a really nice document. You can make that PDF downloadable as well. So now you've got a YouTube video and a PDF download to go together. And also you can upload it to your website, to LinkedIn, uh, Google My Business, wherever you want to do. And you've also got, you can create a blog article out about it. So... Like lead magnets, um, if you just focus on the lead magnet itself, like it feels like an awful lot of work to do for one document or checklist or whatever it might be. However, if you're clever, you can create multiple assets out of one lead magnet and actually you end up with multiple lead magnets. And that is where the real magic lies. So um, this is kind of just, uh, it's probably a little bit out of date, but this, this is a basic, like my video content ecosystem. It's in the download. Um, let me know if you want the big version of it as well. You can pin it up on your wall, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, and um, that's probably the quickest and easiest way of um, building out lead magnets, like multiple lead magnets, you know, uh, you repurposing content as, in as many different guises as possible and actually you end up with like half a dozen to a dozen lead magnets dotted around a place. You could also break the content you've created up into multiple like social media posts. That's something I'm quite lazy about doing but um, if you're that way inclined you can do it or get a, get a VAPA to do it for you. Um, so there you go. So that's my little hack for creating content. So like I guess the next thing of this challenge is really like, why don't you go and do 10 minutes worth of dictated audio? Like, get the get the little recording, voice recording app out on your mobile phone or um, get the camera out. Like, just take a video um, of yourself talking about a specific subject that you know will add value to your clients' businesses or to your clients generally. Um, and share it in the group. I want to see it. Get it transcribed. Start doing stuff with it. Like, do this within the next week. This is, this is an absolute, absolute vital part of content marketing for your business. Like lead magnets are what makes the go, info products are what makes the world go round. And who's to say that you could use the same methodology to create e-learning programs or books like I've done or whatever, you know. I will have gone from two books to six books by the end of this year, potentially seven, through using this methodology, okay. Now if anybody thinks that publishing one book is hard, try publishing five in a single year. Um, it can be done, I just go to town on this stuff. Um, you know, I've, I've got with the seven marketing secrets now, so I've got the video from Stroudnet, that's on YouTube. I've got the PDF download, which is available on, on the fearless.biz website behind a gated um, uh, download page. Um, I've got various blog articles written about it. I've been giving the PDF away as like a, an extra bonus within my, um, my sort of, uh, nurture sequence when I'm marketing. Um, my next challenge, so that talk I did on the 5th of July, my next challenge is I'm going to typeset it, turn it into a book and then give it away at the next Stroudnet on the 4th of September. So in less than two months, I'll have created a, a full blown, fully blown paperback book out of that one lead magnet, one video, 40 minutes worth of video. Um, and it looks awesome. Uh, there's also, you know, I've got a talk now which I do which is based on the seven marketing secrets. I've got the sla slide deck which I could potentially upload to slide share. There's so much stuff that you can do with this content, but you have to get into the mindset of producing content. It's part of the reason I did the lead magnet, lead magnet challenge. I did, 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 did the lead magnet challenge to give you guys the, um, uh, like the opportunity because a lot of people have been talking about lead magnets, but ultimately this is about creating content. Get content out there, get comfortable creating content, get yourself found. Uh, it's not that difficult right so I am going to sign off now enjoy this um, thingy uh, uh, lead magnet challenge day five coming up hopefully tomorrow morning uh, do fire your questions comments into the uh, the comments box below be more than happy to answer them and I will catch up with you soon for the next installation of the lead magnet challenge we'll wrap it up with day five I have no idea what I'm going to do for day five I, no I know I know exactly what I'm going to do with day five absolutely fine anyway Catch you later, folks. Hope you enjoy this. Get those lead magnets. 
rolling out right now. Start doing content, take a video, do some audio, whatever. Do, 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 do content. Oh,